Welcome back to the fourth annual Abolition Now Conference, where abolitionists from all over the country have come together to learn and to fellowship. Now we know that there's a stark difference between pro-lifeism and abolitionism. And pro-lifeism, while it has its effects in the political arena, also has its effects in the front lines in things like pregnancy resource centers. There's a difference between an abolitionist pregnancy resource center and a pro-life pregnancy resource center. So let's talk with Noah Wyatt with Miriam Pregnancy Counseling on what that distinction might be. Coverage of the fourth annual Abolition Now Conference and Abolition Day is brought to you by Bright Rider Media. We provide consistent professional communication with the outside world. Go to astormcomesrolling.com to check out our feature-length documentary on the rise and doctrine of abolitionism. Miriam Pregnancy Counseling Center got started originally, this was a long time ago, it was about two or three years ago. I'd been out ministering at the mill for a while on the sidewalk. There was a property for lease next door to the Kill Mill on Greenville Avenue where we ministered at. And I was talking to uh, Pastor Matt Burke, who's a pastor outside of Dallas, and I was talking to him. I was like, man, it'd be really cool if we could rent this space or lease it. And I just had the idea, what if we like, just could use it to go to the bathroom or to put our tracks and stuff in it? And he said, I think we could maybe use this for something good. And so from that idea, we, we came up with this, I, this question. We, we, we've been asking ourselves this question is, we're in this fight, we're, we're abolitionists for a reason, right? We want abortion to end in America. What happens when God makes that a reality? Then, then, so tomorrow, imagine abortion is, is illegal everywhere. What do we do? Where do we send our mothers? Where do we send our fathers? And so Miriam stems from that idea to where we're going to combine the sidewalk ministry with the local church, and Miriam is going to be the one to draw them together. They're going to meet. Miriam essentially is the, our answer, the Christian answer to the secular pro-life Pregnancy center. So what's the, what's the distinction between like a pro-life PRC pregnancy resource center and an abolitionist one? Yeah. So in a regular pro-life PRC, I mean, you've, you're going to have your typical uh, discipleship of where you're going to tell these women, and maybe if, if they even deal with the fathers, you know, you guys are victims. You know, it's okay. Uh, abortion is an option you have. We just would prefer you not to do that. Well, with Miriam, first and foremost, right, we're there to preach the gospel of Christ. That's the only way that hearts are going to change. That's the only way that they're not going to desire to kill their children anymore. So first and foremost, we want to make sure that we're preaching the gospel as soon as they go through the door. Second, we're going to teach them, you guys aren't victims, you're sinners. <laughs> you need Christ, you need the gospel. You're God-haters right now, and we want to make sure that you know you're not a victim because you're here to kill your baby. Uh, that's one side of the distinction between this. Another side of the distinction would be uh, we're local church orientated. So if, say, such and such mom goes into Miriam Pregnancy Counseling Center, uh, we know she's from the west side of town. Uh, hey, we know pastor so-and-so from the west side of town. You need to contact this mom. You need to make sure that she knows that you guys are there, that you care about her. Hook her up with, with discipleship teams, whatever you need to do, she's your responsibility. We want to make sure that she's continuing to receive the discipleship. And lastly as well, Miriam is distinct because we're, uh, we have our, our system set up to where Miriam is ran, at least the individual centers, Miriam is ran by, you don't have to be an elder, but elder qualified men. So I know the typical model is you have a woman there, right? And I, I agree, women should counsel women in, in specific scenarios. It's, of course, keeping everybody accountable. But we believe that an elder qualified man is going to be there, one, to deal with the fathers, but also at, pastorally, he's going to be able to minister at, through his ministry there at that center. Uh, and so he's going to oversee the counseling uh, directly. He's going to make sure, you know, this mom is receiving the best care, the best uh, counseling that she can receive. So where are you located? Uh, do you have any plans to expand or to scale? And where can people go to help out or to donate or anything like that? Yeah, so uh, right now we're located in Dallas and we're located in Indianapolis. We just opened up in Indianapolis within the past week. Um, those are our two locations right now. We're talking with other pastors throughout America to expand and get into those towns where they really need a pregnancy counseling center. Another way that we're expanding is we're dealing with pregnancy counseling centers that are already established, but they might be looking to change their model into a more 
a biblical model of how a pregnancy center should run. And so we've got two options to where we'll, we'll go in, we'll train you, we'll teach you guys, here's, here's our model. Uh, we'd love for you guys to adopt it, but here's the biblical model that we think you should adopt. And then another option is, hey, if you're a church and you want to start one in your town, go ahead, we'll, we'll help you. Here's a big packet. We'll, we'll tell you all these, uh, all these things that you need to know legally, and we'll help you get started. Our plans within the future is we'd love to expand furthermore into maybe these towns that uh, maybe not have a, a direct kill mill where they're doing chemical abortions there, maybe just passing out plan B, uh, but to just get this idea where for the next generation, uh, if whenever abortion is, is ended, really, uh, a Miriam will be there. A Miriam's going to be planted, already have a, a local group in the community. Uh, and if you guys ever want to get involved, you can go to miriampcc.org. Uh, you can donate there as well. All of our information's on there. Um, you can also follow us on Facebook, Miriam PCC DFW, and then Miriam PCC Indianapolis. Awesome. Thanks, Noah. Hey, thanks.